Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to give a little update to this Lenovo Legion Go saga. So as you can see, the Legion Go is running Windows 10. Um, we've been having issues with people yesterday, especially after launch reporting that Legion space, they couldn't find the download. As you saw in my previous video, um, I was able to find the download and I posted the links to my Google Drive. Um, it was not easy to find that, but there were lingering questions from people if they could put Windows 10 on here. And um, yesterday, prior to my postings, you were not able to put 10 on here. Well, you could have put 10 on here, but you wouldn't be able to get the Legion Space drivers, um, software, excuse me, not drivers. I don't understand why Lenovo has gone about things this way. Um, even if you don't use Legion Space, you still have to have Legion Space in order to use most of the controller functions. Um, so right now, basically what we're going to be testing, um, just to show you as proof of concept, one thing I did notice um, is that Legion Space still launches at startup regardless if you have 10 or 11 on there. It's very interesting. So if we take a look here and we click the settings, I'll show you here. So we've got, uh, it'll tell you here what the information is, Legion Go. Um, that should show you what it is and that it's on here. Um, and then we're going to show you, so I have Legion Space in the taskbar there, and we're going to go ahead and click the Legion Space button, and it's automatically going to launch. And you see here, it is loading Legion Space as it would normally. And yeah, it brings up Legion Space, and if we click the button on the right, honestly, it feels more fluid with Windows 10. But just to show you, if I go and do the lighting effects, it will actually go through and do the lighting effects. Um, and then one thing I will show you as well. Let's pause this real quick. All right, uh, we are back. I just wanted to show you that even when it's disconnected, um, I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Is it gonna show? Let's grab the controller. Ah, you can see that the trackbar is still working. So everything is perfectly working. Um, people who have tried this without Legion Space have reported that the, the controls just don't work. Um, anyway, I just wanted to test that with you and basically show you that it is possible. Another thing I did want to show you, which uh, let's go get out of here. Uh, what is opening here? When you... Yeah, we're gonna go to exit. All right, so one thing I did want to show you um, is that the type keyboard does work. This screen, for some reason, it takes a minute. Um, I'm gonna type in activation, see if Windows is activated. And you can see here, we have uh, Windows 10 Home and it does say it is activated. And then um, I will show you this as well. It is activated with um, 22H2. So again, it's not that this stuff is impossible. It's just that Lenovo has made it pretty complicated to be able to do things with their controllers um, standalone. Now, obviously, you could have connected this via Bluetooth, um, but you won't be able to adjust a lot of the settings. And when it comes to... Um, I could be mistaken, but when it comes to um, any of the other settings, like what you see here, which I'm about to bring up, this one, um, stuff like the screen resolution, you could probably update in Windows regularly, but the refresh rate, the key mapping, um, a whole bunch of other stuff when it comes to like thermal mode, frame monitor, um, yeah, like the frame monitor comes up on the issue. Um, and some other stuff like uh, fan speed and OS power mode. That stuff, um, as far as I'm concerned, um, I could be wrong again, that stuff is not normally um, adjustable um, native to Windows. If it is, then that's my bad. But from what I'm seeing from people, that's not uh, natively available for adjustment uh, through Windows. <clears throat> um, none of this stuff is like new stuff, again, Normal in any normal case, had Lenovo went about releasing that um, installer file for Legion Space and not making it a problem, we wouldn't be going through this issue here, and it would just be a matter of installing Windows. Um, I will tell you guys this: 
um, I did have to manually install a lot of the drivers. Luckily, Windows did have the touchscreen drivers at boot, but um, I was able to do something called um, going into audit mode. Um, and I was able to install all the drivers in audit mode. That's not something that you really need to know. Um, if you have a USB-C adapter and you have a mouse and keyboard, you can go about it that way. But um, once I was done, I was able to go into audit mode and um, install all the drivers before actually setting up the device. Um, but yeah, it does work. Uh, I haven't played any games on the Windows 10 variant. I've only played games on Windows 11. Um, I know you guys have been asking me to test out some games. Um, I will advise you to check out the Legion Go Reddit, which I am not very active on. Um, a lot of people have been testing games out there and uh, writing their reviews of games. Um, but for right now, like I said, I just wanted to show that it does work on Windows 10. Um, I haven't had any issues with it on Windows 10 in regards to it functioning. In terms of gameplay, I'm probably going to... Um, test it out but the other question people have been asking is why windows 10 um and that's simply because some people just don't like windows 11 and a lot of people were asking if 10 is possible to put on here um since 11 came out i don't know the people i've talked to and a couple of customers that i've worked with in my store have told me that um windows 10 has been a better gaming experience for them don't quote me um, because I, I'm honestly not entirely sure. I, I had no issues with 10, and I've had no issues gaming on 11 for what I play. But, um, yeah, it is possible. You just have to install 10, install the drivers, and install Legion Space, and you'll be up and running and ready to go. Thank you, and have a great day.